Welcome to the style that binds us to our YouTube channel. This is my daughter Delia Folk and I'm Allison Broon. And we are here today to talk to you about what is in our bag during Fashion Week. All the must-have emergency necessities that you need for Fashion Week, which can certainly translate into what you need as a woman on the go. Why don't you talk about your bag first? So this bag, the brand is called Wandler. It is a huge brand right now. A lot of the major retailers have it. They have such great silhouettes and shapes and colors, fabrics, etc. It's super fun. It's not too pricey, thankfully. And kind of pricey, but not the priciest. And this one is cognac, which is a huge color for this season, and we just love it. And it has gold accents. What about your bag? My bag is a Yves Saint Laurent bag, Saint Laurent. There are a lot of bags on the market right now that have the cheetah animal print. Definitely don't have to go high end. This is actually from last year. So this is great because it has an inside little pouch. That's something I'm going to talk about in a minute. And it also has the little handles, but it has the crossbody too. And when you're in a hurry and you're trying to take pictures and you're shaking hands and hugging people, you don't want your shoulder bag slamming into somebody. So it's great to have crossbody, hands-free. And this is called the Sac Du Jour. So what's in our bags, BB? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. We always have our cell phones obviously and one problem that happens when you're going day to night is what <gasps> they die the battery dies so we always have our anchor anchor charger and this is great you just charge it every night when you get home make sure you charge it while you sleep you just plug it into your phone and it recharges your phone on the go super important thing to have for really for anyone and we also have this, so just in case we are near an outlet, we can plug into the wall and charge. Rather than having to use the, the battery. Okay, something that I have that I don't think you have. I always keep a little miniature hairspray can with me if it fits in my bag. And in my makeup bag, I have a little comb. So, especially when it's a windy day and you're running from place to place and you look in the mirror in the cab or in your mirror of your powder or whatever you realize I look like I've been in a windstorm. Mm -hmm. Little brush, little spray, and a trick I'm not sure if we talked about before, but you can spray your hair and then you actually take the side of the hair spray can, smooth down your hair a little bit. It gets all those flyaways to behave. I always have headphones. Mom is not so into the headphones for some reason. Maybe it's her age group, but the millennials, we all use these headphones. Of course, these are tangled. That, that's why I don't, because they're always tangled up. I understand <laughs> they're important, and I'm trying to get better, but they're always tangled up, and that just drives me crazy. Okay. Driver's license, Metro card, one credit card, something like that. She has all of her things in a little pack. Always have that, and I include a couple of dollar bills, too. So if you're somewhere and you check a bag or check a coat, that's a good thing to have on hand. I'm hoping you have a little something to keep Advil in and Zyrtec or whatever it is. This is allergy season. And I have a small one as well. I get migraine headaches. And also when I'm traveling, I put melatonin in here. And one hilarious and embarrassing story is when we were in San Francisco, we'll link the vlog in the description below, we were at our big special event, the reason why we traveled there, talking to the women's Versace design team. And somehow, I don't know how it happened, my bag was open a little bit and this pill thing just <laughs> flew all over the floor. So that was super embarrassing because no one would know what the brand of these like, pills it's are. Just, it's just Motrin. Right. It's not anything, any scary, crazy yes. party drug. But that was just horrifying to have your pills exposed all over the floor. In a very fabulous apartment of a famous woman in San Francisco. <laughs> All right, another stylist tip. Pay attention. These are Tatcha, but these are blotting papers. Neutrogena, everybody makes them. I think you can find them 
probably at any drugstore as well as online or in department stores. Halfway through the day, I know I lecture about this all the time, take a blotting pa paper, gently blot your face, and then have your compact, open it up, do a quick look. I'm looking kind of tired right now. Do a few little pats. Swipe on some new lipstick. And you're good to go. The other thing, oh, we definitely always have to have business cards, especially during Fashion Week because we're meeting so many people. I know a lot of people say, let's connect on Instagram, which is great, except for, for me, I connect with them on Instagram and then I can't remember, I still can't find them on Instagram. They're just lost in in Instagram. So I really, really like business cards. I think plus people can put them on their desk and remember later and the same same thing with me when I get back to Birmingham. I lay them all out and try to remember. Okay, this person is this that gave me this card is someone I need to talk about about this and I put them in order so I can reach back out. All right. You don't need to worry about that unless you're not wanting to wear your contacts for a day, but making sure I have my glasses, my reading glasses, that's super important. Sunglasses. Gotta have sunglasses. And then I carry a pack of gum with me and I don't chew it in public. I don't chew it all day long, but sometimes if I have a cup of coffee or something, um, in between meetings I'll chew like half of a piece um, just to freshen up my breath. And then last, during Fashion Week and really every day when you're not going to be at home, it's good to have some kind of a little bar or a pack of almonds, something so that when you finally do get to eat, you don't order the most fattening thing on the menu. <laughs> if you can have, this is a dying bar. I like dying bars, Delia likes RX bars. Any kind of bar like that, especially one if you could find it that's clean and drink some water and that'll get you through for a couple more hours. But to remind you about, I've talked about it before, but I always like to have a scarf with me. This one isn't super long, but I keep it wrapped around the handle of a bag or if you don't have a handle, then wrap it up carefully. Don't just wide it up, but wrap it up and put it in a little corner of your purse because when it gets chilly outside or it's windy or if you're inside and the air conditioning is going and you're freezing, it's amazing how much warmth a simple scarf can bring you. And it's obviously much smaller than a sweater or a coat or anything like that. You can tie it on however you want. It brings you a little warmth, then you get hot again, you take it back off, you wrap it around the bag, and you have a nice pop of color, especially when you're wearing a neutral outfit like this. This just adds a little, a little je ne sais quoi. And then some other things that I have in here would be a lip gloss and lip balm or a lipstick, especially if I'm going out at night. And then a little mini nail file because instead of me having to pick off a nail, if I can just file it, it's going to be so much better for me. A pen and some hand lotion. That's great. You wash your hands a lot when you're in a big city, subways, taxis, in and out of doorknobs and everything. So it's great to wash your hands, but then they get really dry, especially in the winter. So a small tube of hand cream is the answer to that. Thank you so much for watching our video. We already did a what's in my bag video before and also what's in our makeup bag. So we'll link that in the description below. We hope you enjoyed our what's in our bag for New York Fashion Week video. Let us know if there are other topics you want us to cover. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, you may want to subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date when we come out with a new video, which is every Sunday. And if you have a tip for us about something special that you keep in your bag that's really helpful, please send it in because we would love to share it with our audience. We're all about bringing new information and things to discover to help your life be better. So we want you to live stylishly and chicly and have a great day. Thank love you. Ya. Bye. Bye.